What's up everybody, it's Dan the Bugman here. I'm taking you with me today as you guys get to experience the crazy job that I get to do every day, which is a pest control technician. We're doing things like cockroach treatments. I'm doing a termite treatment today. We're doing termite inspections. We've got spider treatments. I've got a mosquito treatment to do. We've got all kinds of crazy pests to deal with, but actually the, the craziest stuff that I have to deal with is just the ridiculous things okay. that customers say to me and claim that bugs are doing on a daily basis. So I'm going to be getting everything on video today. As you can see on my fancy tablet here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight jobs today for a grand total of $1,504. So that is a pretty good amount of money. I'm going to show you exactly how much money I make at each job. I'm going to show you exactly how I do each job. It's going to be an absolutely jam-packed day. I'm super excited to have you guys along for the ride. Let's go ahead and drive to our first job. We're only a couple minutes away. So our first service today is a mosquito treatment. The grand total for this service is $49. It should only take me about 20 minutes. And we're gonna go talk to the customer and see if they're home. If they're not home, then we're just gonna go ahead and do the treatment. The, the, the door is open and the screen is just shut. And for the mosquito treatment, basically, as you can see, I'm just using this backpack fogger and I fog the, the grass and especially around all the bushes and the trees, like that's where the adult mosquitoes are resting during the day. So they rest on the underneath side of leaves. This treatment is really the best thing you can do for mosquitoes. So normally I'm just Daniel, the pest control technician, right? But as you guys know, my YouTube channel is Dan the Bugman. So I'm going to introduce myself today as Dan the Bugman to customers and see if I can get any funny reactions. Okay, we are at our next stop. This is a general pest control service. So there's really no telling what problems they're going to be having. It's $120 and it should take me about 40, 35, 40 minutes. Good morning. Good morning. My name's Daniel. I'm here to do the pest control spray. As you guys can see, I just completely chickened out at the last minute. There were like a lot of people in there and I didn't really know who I was talking to. So I just kind of started doing my normal. I did film me spraying the inside. Basically, I go around the whole inside of this building. I spray the inside baseboards just like that, just around the baseboards. And then when I see things like this glue board here, I change them out. They get little bugs stuck on them and that's their whole purpose is just to catch any extra bugs that come inside and then I put new ones out. I just fold them up and put the new ones out and then take the old ones and throw them away. This one glue board actually had like 12 brown recluse spiders on it. So I always try to collect payment at the time of service, but sometimes if it's a business or if they're not home, then we can't collect payment, which is totally fine. Like I didn't collect a payment on my first two services, but hopefully we will collect payments for all the rest of our services, but most of our customers pay us. The next job we're headed to is actually an initial service for this customer. So, so this is the first time that our company has ever been to this customer's house. So in that regard, there's a higher chance of us finding something crazy. So I'm really excited to see what this stop has in store and I promise I will be introducing myself as Dan the Bugman and we will see what they say. For this initial service, we are charging $140 and there's really no telling how long it'll take me, probably about 45 minutes if I had to guess. Hi, I'm Dan Hi, the man. Bugman. Dan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Here, uh, the note said just general pest spray and check out some termite stuff. Is that what I'll do today is the outside spray around the house. I'll be sure to hit up and down the walls really well. I sprinkled some of these pest control granules around the outside perimeter, and then I sprayed around the outside with the backpack sprayer, and then I sprayed inside the crawl space also. Doing the spray and the granules really helps establish like two levels of barrier. The granules are really good for covering the ground and then the spray really gets up the wall and around the windows of the house. So he should have a really good protection from all kinds of bugs. Okay guys, so I'm under the crawl space. Check out to see if he has any termite issues. I'll check out to see if there's any moisture issues, which it looks pretty dry so far. So that's a good thing. I have seen a couple of cave crickets. I'll point one out to you. Over there, they love crawling on the wall like that. You see that guy right there? That's a cave cricket. There's another one over there, but they don't really do anything. They just kind of hang out on the walls. And it looks like he already paid. So I'm just going to fill out the paperwork here and then go talk to him. And then we will head to our next job. Okay, guys, we are headed to our next stop. This is just a general pest control quarterly service. The notes also say that she may or may not be home. It's really nice when customers trust us like that so 
I will be sure to do an extra good job. This service is $75 and it should take me about 30 minutes to do. All right guys, so when I'm spraying inside the house, it's just super light sprays, guys. This stuff comes out in almost a mist. Like you can barely see it. And by the, by the time it hits the floor, it's just tiny little particles. Customers ask me all the time, they're like, hey Dan the Bug Man, is this stuff safe? Yeah, it's it's super safe. Of course, like I'm only spraying tiny amounts in your house. It's definitely safe for humans and pets. And then we're gonna spray the outside and then I will see you guys at the next stop. Okay guys, the next stop we're headed to is a cockroach follow-up treatment. So a follow-up means that we've already been there at least once before and actually I was looking at the notes and I was the technician that was there last time and this one was pretty bad. It wasn't like the worst cockroach thing I've ever seen but there is likely still a couple cockroaches hanging out. So we are going to go there and get that treated. The follow-up cost for this treatment, we are charging them $100. It should take me about 45 minutes to do. So I'm not gonna get into the details about a roach treatment, but I did end up seeing a couple of roaches, as you can see. The first thing I always do is pull back the refrigerator and the stove, and everything really looked fine behind there. But as I started spraying, I did find a couple roaches. I saw this one up in the cabinet here, so I went ahead and sprayed it. And I also found this roach. This one is really unique. You can actually tell that this one has been affected by the chemical. If you look at it really closely, its back wings are kind of deformed. Normally they're straight and flat, but these are curled up and all crooked. So that means that it has come in contact with the chemical that I had put down last time. So when I see one like that, I don't freak out too much. It's just how the chemical works. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time. This cabinet area, with all those little black dots around it, that's actually where the roaches had populated in the past. They live in little groups like that. And when they live in groups, they always poop on the walls. And that's when you see those little black and brown specks that's actually roach feces. There were actually a bunch of roaches in this corner last time I was here just about two or three weeks ago and now it is completely roach free. So that is great to see. That job wasn't really too bad guys. It was quick. I was in and out of there and I'm going to get the paperwork filled out and then we're going to go ahead and head to our next job. Guys, the next stop that I am headed to is also the first time that we've ever been to this customer's house. So hopefully there is something cool for us to see. We are going to be charging them $140. Testing. They said they've had ants and they've had mice issues and this service Hello. should take anywhere from like 45 minutes Good, to maybe you? an hour. My name's Dan, the bug man. Hi, here to, yeah, I'm Kelly. Uh, they said mice and ants, is that right? Well, mice, ants, and I found one brown recluse, so I definitely okay. want to check that. Sorry about the house. It's kind of oh, messy. That's okay. Now, do you need me to move furniture out so you can get along the baseboards or anything? Or? In most cases, no. I can work around almost everything. Okay, well, I've moved some anyway. I didn't know. That's so. fine. Perfect. And if you see something that's too dirty or anything, man, let me know. I'll come clean it real quick. Okay. <laughs> there's dust everywhere. Like this guy definitely has a lot of problems going on. The main things are ants, mice, and brown recluse spiders. So those three are really all pretty hard to control, but I'm going to try my very best. I'm just gonna throw everything at it. I'm gonna put out mice bait, I'm gonna put out ant bait, I'm gonna spray. We'll just go from there. I'll show you guys how I do everything. The first thing I did was all the inside stuff, so I sprayed the inside baseboards, and I put out a bunch of glue boards, and I sprayed the cracks around the kitchen for the ants. And then the outside, I just start going around and doing the normal spray. So we are now in the crawl space. As you guys heard, this customer has a major, major mouse problem, so hopefully we can find some clues under the house, that's all, almost always where I start with mice. I start by looking under the house, and as you guys can see, it's not pretty. I'm gonna look for termites first, hopefully. He doesn't have any for his sake. Hopefully he does have some for our sake, because that means more money. Um, and then I'm going to put out some mice bait all around the corners um, that the mice will feed on, and then they will kick the can soon after they feed on it. Inside the house, the customer actually had a banana sitting on this island in his kitchen and he claims that overnight mice climbed up the island and ate almost the whole banana and i believe him but that is just crazy to to think that he has mice this bad and is just now doing something about it as you may have guessed it's really nasty back here there is a ton of spider webs it really just doesn't look like anybody has been in here in a very long time but I get the packets and I literally just start chunking them in every direction and and that may sound lazy but if there's as many mice in here then they're definitely going to find them so for example I just take it I just chuck it that way I I had a feeling we would find termites under this crawl space if you look right over here it might not look like much but that line of dirt going up the wall 
those were created by termites. So I'm going to ask the homeowner if he's ever had the house treated for termites. My guess is no. We will see what he says and then we will try to see if he wants to get a termite treatment done. That's actually the next job we're headed to is a termite treatment and I will see you guys there very guys, soon. I am en route to my very last job of the day. Thankfully, the day is almost over, but it's a big one. It is a full termite treatment. So you guys are going to get to watch me do a full termite treatment on a house all by myself. It's going to take me close to two hours, but the grand total for this job is $880. Now, the reason it's so expensive is of course it does take a while, but it's also so expensive because we use a bunch, a bunch of chemical and really expensive chemicals when we treat the soil for termites. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do that. And also termite treatments are very specialized. It's not something you can really do yourself. The customer is not here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start treating the house. I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing up the chemical. So guys, normally when I treat a house for termites, I will literally crawl into the crawl space and spray it all around the perimeter. But as you guys can see, this crawl space between the, the floor joists and the ground is only about a foot tall. So I'm not going in there because I will probably get stuck in there. What I'm gonna do is just take this spray rig that has the chemical mixed up in it and it sprays out like that. If you squeeze it all the way, it ends up spraying pretty far. So I'm literally just going to be sticking this down in there and just spraying to the farthest edges that I can reach with this. And I will be spraying like that for a good 10 or 15 minutes to get enough chemical into the crawl space. And then after I treat the crawl space, then I will treat the outside perimeter. So I got the crawl space sprayed with this gun. Now I'm going to treat the outside perimeter with this piece of equipment that I attach to the hose. And then basically I just shove this into the ground and then pull this lever and the chemical comes out the bottom on those little holes there. And then once it's in the ground, you turn this on. I'll show you what it looks like out of the ground. So out of the ground, it looks like this when you turn it on. So I'm gonna turn it on just a little bit. See how it comes out of four sides. And if you turn it on high, it goes out the end. Whenever I stick this in the ground and I turn that lever, it completely soaks all the soil around that whole spherical area. So I do it for 10 seconds, turn it off, move it over, shove it in the ground, flip this up, and then hold it for another 10 seconds. And the chemical is going right through there, all the way down into the ground. And that, my friends, is what we consider rotting a house for termites. And that guys is exactly how I am doing this termite treatment. I'm going to continue doing this treatment, but unfortunately it's pretty repetitive and there's really not a lot going on except me just standing around treating the soil. So if you haven't already figured this out yet by watching my channel, you really, really need to get your house treated for termites unless you live in like a very, very cold area where termites don't exist then you can be okay, but please, please consider getting your house treated for termites is a very important part of owning a home. If I am now headed back to our shop. Guys, I'd say overall it was a pretty smooth day. Doing $1,500 in one day, that's definitely a good day. If I can do $1,500 every day, I will be a very happy camper, but there is a lot of good money in pest control. Um, as long as you do it well, but that's about anything in life. As long as you're good at something, you can get paid well for doing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do all of my pest control stuff for today. As always, just let me know if you have any questions about what I did or why I charged this much for this service or how I did this treatment. I would be more than happy to answer the comments. Uh, you guys are doing great on the comments. So thank you guys for watching me make $1,504 today and I will see you guys again very, very soon.